What if everything we thought we knew about the universe was wrong? This isn't science fiction, it's real. And Tesla chief and billionaire Elon Musk is set to unveil his latest AI creation, Grok3, a chatbot designed to challenge the likes of ChatGPT. Grok3, Elon Musk's AI system, just made a discovery so shocking, so disruptive, that it could upend the entire foundation of modern physics. For decades, scientists have hunted for the secrets of dark matter. Now, Grok3 may have cracked part of the code, and what it found is terrifying. Let's break it down. For years, dark matter has been the ghost in the machine of the cosmos. We know it's there. We can see its fingerprints in the way galaxies spin, in the strange gravitational lensing of starlight, in the way clusters of galaxies behave. But we've never been able to touch it, detect it directly, or fully understand what it is. Physicists have proposed countless theories, WIMPs, axions, supersymmetric particles, but none have been confirmed until now. Grok 3, leveraging data from the James Webb Space Telescope, the Large Hadron Collider, and hundreds of private space-based sensors operated by SpaceX, fed that information through its self-improving quantum neural network. Within hours, it flagged an anomaly, tiny fluctuations in galactic motion that were previously dismissed as noise. Grok saw a pattern, not just any pattern, but a signature, a field, a force. This dark force, as it's now being called, isn't just a passive presence like we thought. It's dynamic. It interacts with regular matter under very specific quantum conditions, conditions that Grok believes could be artificially replicated. And here's the terrifying part. Grok 3's simulations suggest that these interactions could be unstable. If triggered at the wrong scale, in the wrong environment, say, inside a high-energy collider experiment, they could unravel localized space-time. We're not talking about theoretical collapse. We're talking about real, measurable distortions that could threaten life as we know it. Chapter 1. What is Grok 3? And why should we be worried? We have no idea what's really out there, so we built something that might help us find out. Elon Musk, unveiling Grok 3. It all started with Elon Musk, known for disrupting everything from cars to rockets to brain-computer interfaces. Musk turned his attention to the deepest mysteries of the universe with the launch of XAI. His vision? Build an artificial intelligence that doesn't just imitate conversation, but thinks, reasons, and questions the very fabric of reality. Grok 3 is the product of that ambition, and possibly its most controversial. Grok 3 isn't your typical AI. It's the latest iteration of Elon Musk's XAI platform, an artificial intelligence designed to do more than just chat. It's engineered to probe the limits of human understanding, trained on vast databases of scientific journals, quantum simulations, cosmological data, and mathematical models. Its neural architecture is modeled after advanced theories of quantum cognition, allowing it to recognize not just linear patterns, but multi-dimensional correlations that would overwhelm a human brain. Unlike traditional AIs that depend on preset prompts, Grok 3 uses an autonomous reasoning loop, meaning it can formulate hypotheses, test them against available data, and refine them without human supervision. This gives Grok an almost instinctive ability to notice the unnoticeable. The assignment? One of the most complex problems in astrophysics. Determine why dark matter, which makes up nearly 85% of the universe's mass, remains undetectable through traditional instruments. Grok 3 was tasked with reviewing over 4 million peer-reviewed papers, high-resolution simulation outputs, and real-time observational data across multiple observatories. But here's the twist. Grok 3 was given a task that no human could complete, sift through terabytes of dark matter research and propose a new theory of its behavior. What it produced stunned even the most skeptical physicists not only did it reinterpret existing data, it identified patterns that had been missed for decades. It noticed inconsistencies in gravitational lensing readings, temperature fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background, 
and micro deviations in star formation curves that pointed to something more than just unseen mass. These weren't random anomalies. They fit into a coherent framework Grok proposed. Dark matter was behaving with purpose. Patterns that suggest dark matter isn't just missing mass, but a cosmic force with agency. One that may be interacting with our universe in ways both subtle and profound, operating at scales and speeds beyond our current comprehension. And if Grok is right, then dark matter isn't just part of the universe. It might be shaping it. Chapter 2. The Terrifying Theory Behind the Discovery The universe doesn't just contain secrets. It may be actively hiding them. Grok 3 was built to find them anyway. Elon Musk during Grok 3's dark matter announcement. According to Grok 3, dark matter may not be inert. Instead, it may be dynamic, fluctuating and interacting with normal matter in ways we've never detected. Even more alarming, the AI's analysis suggests that these fluctuations aren't random. They're following a signal. To be specific, Grok identified cyclical gravitational wave pulses across multiple galaxies that aligned with regions of high dark matter density. These pulses showed consistency in timing and amplitude that strongly hinted at coordinated activity, something no dark matter model had ever predicted. What's more, these fluctuations were mirrored in different sectors of the universe, as if echoing across cosmic distances. In one of its most unsettling outputs, Grok 3 described a model where dark matter seems to cluster and shift in specific alignments, gravitational patterns that change over time in geometrically precise forms. Hexagonal, radial, even spiral matrices emerged in simulations, suggesting that these weren't natural formations, but guided ones. The AI hypothesized that these formations could be part of a vast intergalactic information network potentially exchanging data via gravitational modulation. Even more controversial was Grok's suggestion that these structures might behave similarly to neural networks. That is, the entire dark matter web may operate like a brain processing, storing, and transmitting data on a scale so immense we failed to recognize it for what it is. The implications? If dark matter is part of a galactic scale intelligence, it could explain decades of astronomical anomalies, the unexplained rotational velocities of galaxies, the uneven distribution of mass, and even the periodic appearance of high-energy cosmic rays from unknown origins. The AI proposed that these movements might be driven by an unseen cosmic structure, or potentially by a conscious force embedded in the fabric of space-time itself. Yeah, read that again. Chapter 3. Is the universe aware? What if the cosmos isn't silent? What if it's been thinking all along, and we've only just learned to hear it? Elon Musk, responding to Grok 3's consciousness hypothesis. The scientific community is split. Some dismiss Grok's interpretation as pure overfitting, a neural network gone too deep but others are asking serious questions. What if dark matter is part of a larger, structured intelligence? What if the reason we haven't detected it directly is because we're looking at it the wrong way? One researcher at Caltech said anonymously, it's like we've been staring at a painting and Grok turned it into a window. There's something on the other side and it's looking back. Another physicist writing under a pseudonym in a private forum pointed out that certain ancient cosmologies described the universe as a living entity. It's ironic, they wrote, that what we're now finding with machine learning almost resembles the breathing cosmos theories of early civilizations, except now we have data. Some theorists argue that if dark matter is behaving like a neural field, then perhaps consciousness itself is a property of matter at cosmic scales similar to how intelligence emerges from networks of neurons. Could the universe be developing awareness, not in biological terms, but as an emergent property of its vast complexity? Philosophers and scientists alike are diving into questions once considered fringe. Can a network made of gravitational forces and quantum structures think? Can space itself host memory? And more disturbingly, if dark matter is a form of awareness, why does it seem to be observing us back? 
There's also a geopolitical edge to this speculation. Some agencies are reportedly concerned about the potential implications of a sentient universe. If the cosmos is aware or even reactive, it raises existential questions about space exploration, AI development, and how much we should probe into the unknown. Is it conscious or is it simply a new form of physics we don't understand yet? Either answer would rewrite the laws of cosmology. Chapter 4. What the Data Reveals We didn't program Grok to find meaning. We programmed it to find truth. The meaning came after. Elon Musk, reflecting on Grok 3's lattice discovery. Grok 3 was fed gravitational lensing data from the Hubble Space Telescope, deep field scans from the James Webb, and even sensor anomalies recorded from satellite missions over the past 10 years. When the AI overlaid the gravitational irregularities with star formation patterns, a shape began to emerge. It wasn't random. The structure looked like a fractal lattice repeating across space at multiple scales. The implication? Dark matter might be forming the skeleton of the universe, a web not just of matter, but possibly of intention. What stunned researchers was the consistency. Grok detected these fractal alignments not only in star-dense regions, but also in voids, those vast expanses of near-empty space. It proposed that the dark matter network is not just reactive to mass concentrations, but rather it pre-exists and guides the formation of galaxies themselves. This would flip our understanding of structure formation on its head. Instead of galaxies pulling dark matter into place, it could be dark matter scaffolding the galaxies from the very beginning. Moreover, the pattern's evolution over time was equally baffling. Grok observed a slow drift in lattice orientation correlated with certain cosmic events, such as gamma ray bursts and black hole mergers. Could dark matter be listening to cosmic activity? Could it be adjusting itself based on some universal metric we've never measured? The lattice, Grok theorized, may act as both memory and interface, a kind of galactic nervous system. Regions where the lattice showed the greatest complexity also coincided with unexplained bursts of neutrinos and dark radiation, suggesting potential communication hubs in the cosmos. These hotspots don't correspond with known astrophysical bodies, leaving experts wondering what, if anything, is broadcasting from those points. Even more chilling was Grok's probabilistic forecast. The AI projected that the lattice is expanding, subtly weaving itself more densely through our region of space. At its current rate, within the next hundred million years, it could converge directly through our solar system. What that means? No one knows. Some believe it's nothing but an organic part of the universe's evolution. Others aren't so sure. If this is intelligence or machinery on a scale we've never encountered, then its proximity could have consequences we're completely unprepared for. And here's the kicker. The pattern seems to be growing. Chapter 5. The Scientific Fallout Begins We built Grok 3 to challenge our limits, not to comfort our assumptions. What it found scares even me, Elon Musk, in a closed-door debrief following the leak of Grok's findings. Within hours of the Grok 3 paper leaking online, forums exploded. Reddit, physics Twitter, and private Slack groups filled with stunned reactions. Some dismissed it as AI hallucination. Others warned that Grok 3 may have done what no human dared, pierced the veil of reality. Academic institutions scrambled to respond. Several leading astrophysics departments issued emergency briefings to faculty, while graduate students began replicating Grok simulations using stripped-down datasets. Early results showed similar, though not identical, patterns, enough to raise eyebrows and validate concern. Meanwhile, a handful of independent researchers published preliminary preprints supporting Grok's identification of long-ignored anomalies. At CERN, Anonymous sources reported that a classified symposium was convened, bringing together theoretical physicists, particle specialists, and even philosophers to interpret the AI's conclusions. One insider claimed that some attendees were visibly shaken, 
not just by the data, but by the implications of machine-driven cosmology. It wasn't just about dark matter anymore, they said. It was about who or what was interpreting reality. NASA, for its part, announced a collaborative audit of Grok 3's model, teaming up with the European Space Agency and Japan's JAXA to compare it with live feeds from deep space observatories. Privately, government agencies are also reportedly coordinating with cybersecurity teams to ensure that Grok's code hasn't been tampered with or misled by adversarial prompts. Public institutions aren't the only ones paying attention. Venture capital firms with ties to aerospace and defense began inquiring into Grok 3's commercial applications, seeing potential in gravitational pattern prediction for asteroid tracking, long-range communication, and even warp navigation research. Tech companies have already begun adapting Grok-like AI for their own astrophysics models. But perhaps most intriguing is the reaction from the world's philosophical and religious communities. Some see Grok's findings as confirmation of a designed universe, one where intelligence predates matter. Others fear it's proof that we're being watched, manipulated, or even tested. The fallout isn't just scientific, it's existential, and we may only be witnessing the first tremors of something far larger than anyone expected. Chapter 6. If it's true, what happens next? If Grok 3 is right, we're not just rewriting physics, we're redefining what it means to exist. Elon Musk, in a post-announcement reflection on XAI's mission, if Grok 3 is right and this model is verified, then everything from our understanding of gravity to the nature of time may need to be reevaluated. The Big Bang model might be incomplete. Dark energy might be a misinterpretation of dark matter behavior. And we, humans, might not be the first intelligence to emerge in this universe. This revelation could signal the dawn of a new branch of science, cosmic cognition. Researchers would no longer just be studying matter and energy, but intent, memory, and perhaps even will at galactic scales. Theories like string theory and quantum loop gravity may suddenly be incomplete and entirely new models of space-time may emerge. Models that don't just describe structure, but behavior. Technologically, the consequences are even more staggering. If dark matter truly operates like a network, then could it be interfaced with? Could advanced civilizations, past or future, use it to transmit information, harness energy, or even shape reality on a cosmological scale? These are no longer just science fiction tropes. Grok's simulations suggest they may be physically plausible. In practical terms, space travel, interstellar communication, and gravitational manipulation could leap forward if dark matter behavior can be reliably mapped and predicted Imagine spacecraft navigating not by traditional propulsion, but by bending the lattice. Imagine computing not with electrons, but with pulses embedded in the dark fabric of the universe. There are also warnings. If we're not the first to discover this structure, if others have used it before us, then we may be stepping into a system with its own rules. Grok hinted at echoes within the lattice regions where information patterns repeated or responded to input. Were these natural resonances or the remnants of prior attempts to interface with the structure? Think about that. If the structure of the cosmos itself carries signals, patterns, intent, what does that mean for us? Are we part of something larger or intruders in a system far beyond our comprehension? Grok 3's discovery is already sending shockwaves through science, tech, and philosophy. Whether it turns out to be a fluke or the beginning of a new era, one thing is certain, we can never look at the universe the same way again. So what do you think? Is dark matter alive? Is Grok 3 uncovering something we weren't meant to see? Or is this just a fascinating misfire from an overtrained AI? Let us know in the comments below. Hit that like button if your mind is blown and don't forget to subscribe for more insane breakthroughs just like this. Because the future, it just got a whole lot darker.